Hi there, my name is FixFox, and welcome to Heroes of Might and Magic 2. This is the F Heroes Edition, and today we are on to the second scenario in the Wizard's Isle campaign. This is going to be the Eternal Scrolls. So, we in the first scenario landed on the archipelago that has uh, arisen from the sea, and many people descended upon those islands to claim some great award, some great uh, power that was to be found there, the wizard's fount, and we were able to defeat all of our initial enemies, and now what we are up against now, I do not know. I just know that we are still going to continue on our quest to be the biggest, baddest wizard out there. So, let's view the intro and see what's going on. Through the inhabitants of these isles, you have learned the location of an ancient library. Within this library, an almost endless collection of mystic knowledge might be gleaned. Most importantly, within its dusty tomes must surely be information concerning the Fount of Wizardry. With this information, you will be able to locate and bind the Fount to your will. Go forth and capture the city of Kronos, wherein you will find the library you seek. Alrighty. A uh, lot going on there, but uh, it sounds like there is a library we need to find, and that will have a scroll that will take us to the Fount of Wizardry. The Eternal Scrolls. The location of the Great Library has been discovered. You must make your way to it and reclaim the city of Kronos in which it lies. It looks like we have 69 days spent in this campaign so far. Nice. And we have our choice between a Mage's Ring, which is a plus two to spell power, the Foremost Scroll of Knowledge, which is a plus five to knowledge, and then the Fire Blast spell. Um, and I've got to say that these choices are not made equally. Oh my goodness. Which would I rather have? I, I don't think that two spell power is equal to five knowledge. I really don't. That's kind of a big deal. Um, I think that I would definitely take the foremost scroll of knowledge over the mage's ring. Whether I would take the fire blast spell over either of those other choices, I don't know. The nice thing is, is that I don't have to decide. I never do. So let's just let the dice roll decide what we are going to do here. We roll a two and a two is going to give us this choice here, which is the mage's ring. So we are going to get the plus two spell power. Our difficulty is on hard and folks, let's dive right in. Looks like we start off with a wizard castle here. We have Mandigal, the wizard. He is a level one wizard, zero attack skill, one defense, four spell power, and two knowledge. That four spell, spell power, courtesy of this mage's ring of power. We do have a few halflings and a few boars to start off with. Let's check our main castle here. It looks like we have a halfling, uh, a, a hobbit hole, as it were, the habitat. And then we also have the pen so we can recruit boars. This is a pretty small town, nothing really to speak about here in the castle of Wildebar. 10 non-precious resources, 10 wood, 10 ore, and then two of each of the precious resources and 5,000 gold. Immediately I see that we have this ore mine here that could be useful. And, and really actually uh, this observation tower is pretty massive. That's going to help give us some good insight into what we ought to do. And then a halfling hole, not too far away. And so, um, usually when I think about my first turn, it comes down to one of three decisions. Do I pick up a mage guild? Do I pick up a cliff nest or some dwelling that I can purchase additional troops at, or do I get the statue? We have 5,000 gold. Let's just plan on 2,500 gold being earmarked for a secondary hero. And if that's the case, then that kind of puts the cliff nest out. If you purchase the cliff nest and three rocks, that's 4,200 gold. That's a lot to swallow. I do see these archers and these rangers up here. That could be important. I guess I do see two piles of gold. Maybe I get the piles of gold and maybe that's enough to justify getting the cliff nest for the rocks but then the alternative is if not the cliff nest if not the mage guild then getting the statue which pays for itself in six days i could play it safe um and maybe the best thing i can do is actually put all my troops here except for the boar so that way i'm very very fast and i will pick up the gold here and by the way i won't be fast until next turn i still will have I will have 1400 movement points next turn, but right now I still have my movement points as if I had the halflings in my army. We'll go to this 
observation tower. And let's see what we have around. Okay, so we saw this ore mine. It looks like here is our sawmill. This is intriguing. There is a spell scroll here. That's very intriguing. Um, skeletons, that's pretty easy defenders to deal with. Shrine, uh, the arena here for a plus one to one of your primary stats. That's pretty darn good. A water wheel. Oh my goodness, look at this. Look at this. There is a jail hidden behind an aqua barrier. What is going on there? And then there's this spell scroll here. That's very intriguing. I like the look of that. Um, okay, this is bad though. Look at this. Look at this. Stone list here. And then a whirlpool here. I don't think... No, we cannot build a shipyard here. And so if we can't build a shipyard here, then the only good thing that this whirlpool can do is spit out enemies immediately. Right? Like, this could be just a way for the enemy to backdoor us. They come via ship, they land right here, and then they attack our undefended castle, and that's a big problem. And the same thing goes for these stone liths. And the fact that there's no defenders there is actually a little bit scary. Usually you see some kind of defenders there. But right now, nothing. Nothing at all. Um, I do see this observation tower here. Sulfur and mercury no gems if i'm wizards then i would prefer to see a gem mine somewhere nearby and this is actually interesting okay wait blue barrier aqua barrier and then just some some kind of loose resources here no artifacts i can't really live without the ever hot lava rock for plus 50 damage to our spells um that might be interesting if we had taken fire blast as our extra spell but if we can get this aqua tent and then we can roll into this jail, that's probably the best thing for us. Does that change my mind on purchasing a second hero now, knowing that I'm probably going to have three heroes soon? No, I think that it looks like three heroes is probably not going to be a terrible thing. And worth noting, by the way, um, yes, there's this blue barrier here, but it looks like I can just go all the way around to get to here. That doesn't seem like too big of a, of a deterrent. So, so be it. Um, other than that, we have one boar right now. Let's just go pick up some halflings with Mandigal. And then I suppose since he's level one, it doesn't really matter if he is our main hero or if it is Kalindra. I don't really know. I guess I don't really care, but so be it. Uh, well, okay. If our goal is to get this Aqua Tent as soon as possible, we're going to need rocks to defeat the Rangers. So let's pick up the rocks right now. Let's get this cliff nest. Let's purchase two rocks now. We are short the gold to purchase more in just a little bit. And then I'm hoping that Mandigal can grab some halflings and then come by with some additional troops in short order. Um, I guess I'll step here, step here, and then we'll be on the road to defeat Rangers and get into this Aqua Tent next turn. So that's the end of day one. One of the seers in your castle comes to you in the morning with urgent news. Your one-time comrade, the wizard Joseph, and his armies have been imprisoned in a jail nearby. His power would surely aid you in your quest to reclaim the library. You think to yourself, perhaps there is a way to rescue him. Is this the same wizard Joseph that was from the Descendants campaign? Is it possible that these two campaigns overlap at all? That'd be so interesting. That would be so very interesting. Uh, so Wizard Joseph, I'm guessing, I'm guessing that that's where he's at. Uh, this is a little scary. Oh gosh, look at that. That's not just a nobody hero. How do you start off with that many troops? There must be a wizard town over here somewhere. There must be a wizard town like right over here. And, and Dawn looks like it, she's pretty good and looks like she's either she started off with those troops or there is a town that is mostly upgraded and we're going to need to defeat her in short order i would i would not feel bad if she went north but if she goes south and goes kind of towards this jail that could be a major problem and and just having her here throws a whole wrench into my gears a, a whole wrench into my plans because I mean, she could take, she could go through these stone lists. Maybe they're undefended because I'm supposed to go through them. Difficult to say. Very difficult to say. I just know that she complicates things. The very best thing would be if she was able to go north for me and just 
avoid me here. Go somewhere that I don't really know about. I don't know, so I don't care. Okay. Um, we do not have a lot of gold. We're only getting 1,000 gold per turn. So let's go pick a point we need to. 36 halflings. That feels pretty good. Do we need this ore? No, we have 31 ore. We might need this wood more than anything. But for now, let's just go make sure that we are able to get this last rock. And with 400 gold, two of these boars and the four of these halflings. And then we are not going to be able to completely reach Kalindra, but she will do just a little swap here for us. And then, of course, we want the rocks here. And then let's split our troops now. I think that if we're going to attack ranged troops, we definitely want the rocks. Probably at the top of the battlefield. Is it rangers? Hold on, we're going to move the... Mage's Ring of Power here to Kalindra because she has the most movement points. Lots of rangers, so they're going to be a four-speed creature anyway. Yeah, I think I'd, I want my rocks to go... Well, they're going. it's going to go boars, boars, rangers, rock, ranger, rock, ranger, rock, ranger, ranger, halfling. So we're probably going to end up stone skinning the halflings at some point. Lots of rangers. That's This is not an easy fight, but I think that... This aqua tent, I'm just, I'm just zeroing in right on this jail. That's kind of my goal. If the wizard Joseph has any amount of troops, that's going to be tremendous for us. So let's go into these rangers and fight this fight now. 12 halflings, that looks pretty okay. Let's see with a stone skin if we can do any better. I do trust the AI to do a good job here, actually, by the way, of encumbering enemy troops where it can uh, I've just noticed that it that the AI does a good job in fighting these kinds of fights in a in a reasonable way so I'm going to assume that it's going to continue to do that these rocks I hope that they hold up well I hope that they hold up there's no guarantee I probably should have attacked this top ranger with this bottom rock just because I know that these halflings are going to absolutely unload on these rangers i can kill four to six here though maybe i kill all six i do kill all six and then i feel much better about my choices and then with the boars in the mix we shouldn't lose a single other rock that stone skin did help us um, fight this battle very very well minimal losses unless i lose a rock there's no way -uh. not with the boars backing us up not with the halflings I'm going to go one more time very very shortly okay uh, and then I think I should be able to just auto combat the fight, but just to make sure. We're going to see this thing all the way through. And there's no problem with that. Ten halflings. There's no problem with saying to yourself, I really just want to fight this fight as best as I can. Here's a question for you. Do I go and get this gazebo? It's a thousand experience. Doesn't matter which hero gets this experience. Right now we have 328 experience. Um, and I do see this hero over here. Maybe I give level one hero, level one hero. Maybe I just give the creatures back to Mandigal and send Mandigal back along his way while Kalindra goes up and gets the Aqua Tent. The gazebo is going to take you way far out of your way because the swamp penalty is so high. I, I think... I think that can clear out all of this with these troops. And then I just make haste and make I make great haste to this jail. That's going to be my plan. And so it's going to be Mandigal that does that. And in fact, just to make sure that I have the most possible movement points, the halflings are going to slow you down to 1,100 movement points. Those 300 movement points that Mandigal has extra because he only has the boars might be worthwhile. I think I'm just going to stay right here. And the next turn, I'm going to give him all these troops, and then he's just going to sprint that way while Kalindra then takes the rest of her movement points back. It's going to cost her 450 movement points, but it's going to transfer those movement points effectively over to Mandigal. That's the plan. With 100 gold, there's no purchases that we can make at this time. The enemy has absolutely seen us. They've stepped on that observation tower, and if my observation tower can see them, that means that their observation tower can see me. Mm, Kalindra's going right here. Let's not mess this up. Let's not mess this up. And I think I'm going to just leave her with the one halfling. Yeah, that is what I'm going to do. She's going to keep the one halfling. And Mandigal is going to take everybody else while she goes back up. 
Can I get... It looks like I can... There's no defenders here on the sulfur. So I can clear all this. Um, I guess it's a really big long shot, but even if you're not trying to get like an offensive secondary skill, you can probably get... I mean, you can get estates in a gazebo. Maybe that'll make her worthwhile. Maybe I should just go get the sulfur as soon as possible. I'll just go get the sulfur as soon as possible for Kalendra there. Um, 1100 gold. I don't have much. I think that we just go as fast as we can. I don't think that we wait. Let's just go. We'll ignore some of this other stuff. Because if Dawn here head straight south. This might be more of a fight than I can handle. We may have to go back. We may have to just content ourselves with these skeletons. It will all depend on what she does here. And remember, she can see us. Maybe... Maybe if I spread my rocks like this, maybe I will look bigger than I am. Maybe it'll be if, like if you meet a wild animal and you, they say get big, so that way it thinks that you're a, a tougher prey than you really are. Maybe that's all I'm doing here, but maybe that'll be enough. <laughs> it's a long shot, but we'll give it a try. And then, let's see. You know what? I'm going to want the well at some point. Let's pick up the well right now. 600 gold left. Yep, and Dawn comes straight for us. There's no way I can beat this army. There's a chance. Shrine of the Second Circle. So a second level spell, there's a chance I could get a good damaging spell. I don't think that with this Mage's Ring of Power that that's going to help, though. I really don't. So I think that we are forced to back off. I think that we fight the Skeletons because they're free experience. I don't think it's going to be enough to get my, myself to a new level. In fact, I know it's not. Hmm. I could go through these stone liths and then stand on the other side. Let's do that. You know what? Let's go through the stone lifts and then we'll kind of explore a little bit on the other side. And then if we have a problem, we'll just stand. Oh, goodness. And then we'll just stand right here. Uh, okay. It's not good. So, so this is immediately a problem. This is immediately a problem. Because now I got enemies coming from both sides. I don't know if these are good heroes or not that I'm about to deal with. But I know that I can't get here. Hmm. Okay. I know I can't get there. Uh, I But I definitely would rather stay on this side of the barrier for now. And maybe even this barbarian here. You can tell it's a barbarian because of the red hair. Maybe even with their pathfinding they can't get all the way through. And maybe we just get lucky. I'm okay with lucky. Lucky sounds good. Boundary or statue. Let's get the statue now. Our gold generation feels so poor. Let's get that now. And so even though we are wasting a lot of, of movement points here on Mandigal, I'm going to do this. Where'd he come from? Where did he come from? He didn't like Dimension Door. Was he right next to... Hold on. Was there a hero right next to me and I just didn't see them in the desert? Oh my gosh, that's exactly what it was. There was a little yellow flag here, and I thought that that was a flag that was associated with the town. He was on the diagonal. And we immediately got blown up. Wait, where'd he go? He went through the stone lifts. Are these stone lifts attached to more than one... Exit? Is there more than one exit to these stone lifts? Um... I guess I, I should have fought that fight. I should have fought that fight so I could see what the enemy had. I didn't even see what they had. Now I can't even like right click on them to see what they did have. I was worried about the barbarian that was here. I should have fought that fight just to see what I was up against. Um, okay. Well, that's, that's a big problem from Fixed Fox there. Okay. Okay. And so Dawn's here. Well, I got to see now. Hold on. I think that this is going to be a restart. Unfortunately. Yeah, I just misplayed that entirely. I, at the very least, I should have just looked. I mean, maybe I could have won that fight. With a stone skin, though, those losses looked pretty convincing. 
I'm just going to move to right here. Don's not going to be able to get all the way around, and then I'm going to try and get back here. I need to see if this if these stone lists go to more than one place. One of your aides reports that the castle of Farleen is located on the northeast spur of this island and is a stronghold for the enemy. He urges you to take it out as soon as possible and then move on to other islands. So northeast, so like over here? Maybe, I mean, we saw Dawn come out right here. Maybe it's right here. Maybe it's on this road. That makes the most sense, I think. That does make the most sense, I think. Oh, and we can't even get through because it looks like there's a choke point here. Very interesting. Okay. I'm, I'm going to have to assume that there's multiple stone lith entrances and exits because the enemy hero that defeated us here, they sipped on that and then they didn't pop out here. So they got to pop out somewhere. So there are two different types of lifts here and here. And this one has more than one entrance and exit. Very interesting. Okay. Um, I'm going to just uh, hit the restart on this. So that's a loss. That was my bad. Um, I'm sure that there's more I could have done, but that's where we're at so far. Um, difficulty, we're going to keep it on hard, of course, and we're going to keep it on the Mage's Ring, and we're going to get right back into it. Uh, it looks like looks like there are some changes here, actually. More than just a new hero here. It looks like we have Goblins and Orc Chiefs instead of... What did we have last time? Archers and Rangers? I don't know which I'd rather defeat... Orc Chiefs or Rangers. I think Orc Chiefs are a lot more defensively minded. So three stacks of one rocks is probably not going to do nearly so well against Orc Chiefs as they did against the Rangers. But then again, I think that there's a pack here now, whereas before it was maybe a... Like, lots? I think? Tough to say. Okay. Okay. Um, Let me think. So we have yellow in the east, and we have those lists to the south, and they're connected to multiple things, and we have a hero that we can save to the east if we can get through some more chiefs. <laughs> I'm guessing that Joseph is an awesome hero. <laughs> I'm, gu like, I'm guessing it he is. Even if Joseph doesn't have any good troops, maybe he's just a really swell guy maybe he's got some like spell scrolls hmm. okay um so i'm still going to kind of focus on that strategy of getting joseph out as quickly as possible if that is my strategy with 5,000 gold i'm going to need enough troops to defeat orc chiefs and then i'm going to need to send one hero uh southeast as quickly as possible so i think that the best thing is to pick up the gold pick up the halfling hole return the troops, and then send a hero down immediately. Let's do that now. Here, here, and here. 33 halflings. Let's pick up another hero. It'll be Kalindra with 67 gold. She's going to pick up for 3,000 gold the cliff nest, and then with 1,200 gold left, she's going to get all the rocks. It's pretty okay. Pretty okay. Do I go out of my way to get these 33 halflings? I think you... I think you could. I don't think you have to, though. Three three rocks is probably enough to defeat the pack. Don't you think? It'd be nice to have some backup. It'd be very nice to have some backup. Um, let's, let's just go get the observation tower now so we can see what we're up to. This is different, by the way. This is the same. Different. Same on the Hydra's Golden Bow. That's a good artifact, especially for wizards. Okay, and we don't see Dawn here immediately, so that's pretty interesting. All right, I think that we will send Kalindra back to, like, right... Like, here? And then Wilfrey is going to just go here and then just head this way as quickly as possible. And maybe we'll just hit this as kind of a timing before Dawn can stop us. Oh my gosh, that's terrifying. There is a lot of variance in this map. Did you see that? We've already read this. Um, about the wizard Joseph. Did you see that though? A necromancer just popped out 
of those stone lifts. <gasps> that is scary. Okay, very, very much worth noting that in Heroes 2, if you are standing on a lift, the enemy cannot go through it. Right? Like, they can't pop out into your exit, especially if there's multiple entrances or multiple exits. It might be worth it to have a hero whose whole job is just to stand on these stone lifts and keep me safe. That would also mean that they would have to defeat Marini. We don't really have a lot of time for this. We're going to do the best we can. I think we're going to send one boar and then keep the mage's ring on Kalindra since she's going to be the one fighting that fight. Uh, and then with that boar, hopefully we'll freaking just move a little bit faster. Dawn, oh, excuse me, it's Marini now, not Dawn, um, has not spotted us yet. Looks like we can get here in two turns. And Kalindra can probably get here in two or three turns. I don't know. We're, we're going to ignore the ore mine and things of that nature. We're just going to go. Glorious victory. Ah, uh, do we accept that loss? I think we do. One boar looks pretty okay. It really does. It looks like we can get the aqua tent in time. Let's do that now. A thousand gold. Let's pick up the... I want the statue. Let's get the well now and we can get the statue next turn. Oh my goodness. Look at that. Okay, so... Wilfrey is down. And who are you? You are Ranlu, and you are tough. You are tough. What can I do here? Which is... Well, with 1,500 gold, I can buy the foundry, but I can't buy the troops. With 1,500 gold, I can buy some troops. 1,500 gold, I can buy a left turret or a right turret, which is not going to do much. It's not going to be a lot. I think that we purchase out halflings and then boars. And then we just hold on and hope for the best. Yeah. If we can bring down the power liches, we should be okay. We don't... Hold on. We don't have any spells, do we? We have stone skin, but that's not going to be helpful. It's not an offensive spell. There's this right here. I'll bet you that we need to get this artifact. I'll bet you this is a good offensive spell. Okay. Let's just see what happens here. There's five. If we send the rocks out, they're going to, if the rocks go out, they're going to get destroyed immediately. There's nothing we can do to help them out. Uh, let's stones get our most valuable unit. One, one, four spell power and two knowledge. Ran loose tough. We're going to skip. Oh, look, they're going to immediately just cover up the power liches. This is the only chance you're going to get. One, two, three, four. This is the only chance you're going to get with the rocks to do damage, but you're going to take a, a beating. And you're only going to do seven to 15 damage. This is such a loss. <laughs> this is such a loss. Uh, let's see what the AI thinks. Oh, this is so bad. Huh. Interesting that the AI didn't stone skin my own boars for me. Like, you might as well. Maybe the AI just knows it's such a loss. That it just is kind of giving up. I'm going to interrupt the auto combat. I'm going to surrender. I don't even have enough gold. <laughs> Mercy. Mercy. I'm going to sit right here so the power liches blast all their troops. And that'll make it look like I did better than I actually was going to. Okay, so... Wow. Okay, so two times in a row. Okay, so we've lost for the second time in this scenario. Folks, this is... This is looking a little nutty. Okay, so we're keeping it on hard. We're keeping the mage's ring. Flint. Goblins. Nomads. Nomads are worse than... Nomads are worse. Okay, but there's this scroll here. I think that we, we probably need to just go get that spell scroll. I think. Maybe Joseph is like a secondary priority. Maybe he shouldn't be like my rush to go get this guy. Maybe I should just leave. Halflings and boars here. Get out and about. 
I'm still going to get the Observation Tower, but Flint's job is going to be to get this artifact. Generally, I don't try and pick up artifacts with only one creature in case a pack of rogues pops out of the brush. Um, I'm going to do it this time, though. So we know we have enemies coming. They are coming quickly. Am I better off not getting a second hero? Interesting. That's an interesting thought. Am I better off foregoing a secondary hero? Hmm. I don't know. Um, let's try that. Let's get the cliff nest now. And I don't regret sending Flint off with just the one boar yet. Oh gosh. And then yellows come back through these stone lists. You find an elaborate container which houses an old vellum scroll. The runes of the container are very old, and the artistry with which it was put together is stunning. As you pull the scroll out, you feel imbued with magical power. This is... Steel skin. And... And I know that we've noted that there's a couple of these... Creatures. Artifacts. Artifacts. Oh, that's a good artifact. That have changed... I don't think that spell scrolls will change. I think that I think you put down a spell scroll and then you indicate what spell you want in it. I don't think you just hit random in the map editor, or at least the old map editor with which these were built. I don't know. It's possible that this is going to be a different spell every time. It's possible that it's going to be a random second level spell. Or it's possible it's just, hey, here's steel skin for you, which... By the way, if you're wizards and you've already got stone skin, thanks. I appreciate that. Way to get my hopes up. Okay, we're still going to go off of this one hero kind of theory here. Um, if the enemy is going to be coming for me real quick, I need this gold as quickly as possible. Let's grab these troops. All of them. Let's grab the statue, because apparently gold is going to be a problem this game. And then with only 238 movement points left, I think that we are going to come out ahead if we just wait overnight without our three-speed halflings. They did not step on the observation tower this time. And so that might actually be ideal, because then we can maybe go this way and get to jail. But we need the aqua barrier. Huh. Yeah, I think that there's a lot of variance in this map from what I've seen so far, because the very first time we played it, yellow did not pop out of those stone lists at all. And that's kind of scary, because if I walk by this now, they've got range of vision in this kind of general area. They see me, they attack me. Game over. Mm, it's tough. Uh, we're going to pick up the well, because there's no situation in which... Having more creatures is going to be bad for us. I, I only have five wood. I only have five ore. What's my next big purchase? Well, we're going to need lots of these secondary resources, these precious resources to get our ivory tower. Mage guild? We can get the mage guild. Hmm. We're just going to need some gold. So I don't think that we go out of our way for this ore or this wood here. I think we do go out of our way for the halfling hole. We can get on the way back. A horde of peasants? You can defeat a horde of peasants with what we have here. So we do. Yeah, let's just get this gold here. Let me hit V for view resources. And I'm, I'm looking to see if there's anything hidden in the tree line. It looks like there's not. Oh, and I'm really sorry. Um, Here, one sec. There. Since we're here in the bottom left corner, I'm just going to move my camera out of the way for a minute so you can kind of see what I'm seeing. I, I don't see anything really hidden per se. We, we've seen that mercury, that wood, that ore, and this there. Yeah, there's nothing hidden, and I kind of wish that there was. I think that... I think that this has remained static every single time. I think this has always been a pot of mercury, a pile of sulfur, a patch of crystal... And a gazillion gems. I don't know. I'm trying to come up with a different different thing for each of them. Um, that's That looks like our ivory tower. 
Maybe I've already said that, but I think that that's our ivory tower right there. So we're going to need this this immediately. And actually, if there's this shrine of the second circle, maybe maybe with an offensive spell, maybe with a lightning bolt or a cold ray, maybe we can do something fun. But we're, there's no way we can get our own mage guild, not with these resources. So we're going to have to rely on this shrine of the second circle, I think. And maybe... I don't know, am I wasting time with a sawmill and an ore mine? I don't really need ore, I don't really need wood. The enemy has not come out of these stone lists, though. And that bodes well. Tell you what, um, I'm going to get a secondary hero. I think that we've waited a significant amount of time. I feel comfortable saying, look, if they were going to attack me, they probably would have attacked me at this time. And I'm, I'm going to go down, I'm going to put Dawn in a position where she can stand on this stone lith in just one second. I'm hoping that the enemy's sight radius is only about yay big. I'm going to stand right here. She's going to, Dawn is going to move her troops over. She'll keep the boar. And then her job is going to be to stand on these stone lists since the enemy hero went north. That's what we're going to do. Do I get the foundry? I'm going to need it at some point anyway. Maybe I'll want the troops later. It really kind of depends on the second level shrine of the second circle here, I think. Let's get troops now. We can always get a mage guild when we have other heroes coming back. Let's hope for the best. Oh, that's bad. Okay, let's have Dawn go by. Oh. <laughs> Dawn can't even go by. Look at this. Uh, Zam. And, and Zam is huge. Zam is kind of in this choke point here, so we cannot get by. And so we must run. With Flint going first. And then Dawn going second. And so then we don't get the Shrine of the Second Circle. So we don't even get a chance at a nice second level spell. Wow. Okay. Huh. We didn't even pick up this halfling hole, did we? And I don't think it matters. I don't think that... I don't think we've seen the enemy cast any spells. I know that if he's a necromancer, he has a haste. But hmm. I don't think it matters because my main castle defenses here only fire with the strength of seven archers. That's not good enough. Hmm. Boy, this is not this is not good. Yeah, you know it's bad when your boars are going out to try and deal with their ranged troops and the royal mummies just ignore you so they can get into a nice defensive position you know it's bad then Ugh. okay so so i think that you have to i think it's mandatory Oh, the castle of Farlene is on the northeast spur of the island. We've already mentioned that. I think it's mandatory. You must get a hero onto these stone lists. You might be able to deal with Dawn. You certainly cannot deal with necromancers coming from these stone lists. Is Dawn... Yeah, they're yellow. So this is yellow and this is yellow. Maybe we only have one enemy hero, actually. I'm going to check, actually. I'm going gonna, I'm gonna to cheat a little bit and get this Thieves Guild now. Well, yellow is just one of our many problems. Hmm. But if we can at least deal with the one problem that's going to kill us now, maybe we have a chance to deal with the problems that will kill us later. So I think that this is nice, but maybe a pipe dream. Maybe it's a little too much to try and go both ways. I think that this is more realistic. Getting a nice spell in the Shrine of the Second Circle. We may check one more time to see if this spell scroll is just a random second level spell or if it's going to be stone skin every time and then we must park a hero here we must get a good spell here and then i don't know i mean are we going to go for rocks 
or iron golems. Iron golems are a little bit cheaper. And they still have some decent hit points. You're already going to be slow anyway because the halflings are three speed. As are the iron golems. No, steel golems are three speed. Iron golems are two speed. So they will slow you down a little bit. I don't know. Tough to say. Okay. We are getting our our butt kicked. This is great. <laughs> I think. Okay. Once again, hard difficulty. Mage's ring. Let's go. Okay. This time it's veteran pikemen and centaurs. I think we've decided that we have to get a hero onto those stone lifts. I think that we've decided that we must get a secondary hero onto, or we must get our primary hero to that nice potential second level spell. At this point, I think I can just do it like this. I'll just get Flint. Oh, and I'll get Halon just to go and get the gold here. And here, we'll have him get the halfling hole. And then uh, Flint with this extra gold is going to purchase all these troops. Yes, even the golems, even though they're slower, I think that that's going to be best for me. We were actually able to purchase all the troops there, so that's good. And then as we're, let's see, do we stop in at the observation tower? We better. It's right along the way. It's right along the way. And this horde of peasants is even right along the way. Let's defeat that so that Halong can go through with almost no troops next time. And this is so scary because the enemy may just step right out of the stone lith and attack me. And I just can't allow that. I think, I think we go to right here and then we hope that Halong can step there next time. Well, we know that he can step there next time. Let's just hope the enemy doesn't pop out of these stone lifts. Fingers crossed. They do not, so they don't know that we're here until Serkin the wizard goes and gets this observation tower. So, uh, Halon is going to head in this direction. He's going to step right here. Flint is going to then take all these troops from Halon. He can keep the boar. No, he can keep a halfling. And then Halon will continue on to these stone lists. And now we're going to we're going to check something. Okay, and so this is new. Look at this. <gasps> Okay, hold on. I'm just gonna hit spacebar. There's another one. How many how many exits are there? How many how many entrances, how many exits are there? I'm just gonna have to hit spacebar just a couple more times just to just to see. Oh my word. Okay, so so this is absolutely a priority. Absolutely a priority. You must get a hero onto these stone lists right here to stop any aggression coming through these gates. Yeah, there's Zom right there, but he, he can he can hop from here to here or here to here or here to here, but they cannot be allowed to hop over here. That's it. That's the key. And so Halon must stay here. We must defeat Sarakin and we must get a good second level spell to do that. There's, there's no other if ands, or buts about it. Yeah, Lightning Bolt. Okay, great. That's a great offensive spell. 100 points of damage uh, because we do have the Mage's Ring. Maybe that two spell power is going to be pretty darn important. We are going to be able to cast only two instances of Lightning Bolt. Maybe for that reason, it would have been better to get a Cold Ray because you can cast three Cold Rays because there are only six magic points each, whereas the Lightning Bolt costs seven spell points. But that is pretty big. And so that's 200 points of damage. I guess we haven't really seen what this enemy can do just yet, but I feel like this is, I think that we're on to the right start. We have a thousand gold. Maybe we just press up this road. Maybe we try and take this fight. Do we try and take this fight? Here's the deal. If Sarakin comes this way, you can't do anything because you must stop him. Halon must survive we only have a thousand gold left we have no troops here to purchase and so we can't even purchase like a third hero to clear out any of this 
I think that we probably just travel down the road here. I would love to pick up these resources. I think we have to ignore it for now. I don't think we can defeat gargoyles. I don't think we can defeat wolves. And somehow I'm talking about defeating Sarakin. This is the best chance I have, though. Let's see what he, let's see what they do. They have not picked up the observation tower. They still don't know we are here. Oops. Nope. Halon stays. They do not know we're here. Maybe we noted that the yellow went up north. Maybe we let them go up north. Maybe we go to like right here. Maybe we pick up the gold. Or maybe we travel on this road. Let's travel on the road. It looks like it might kind of lead up to this area anyway. And this is nice to know. Gem mine. That solves a lot of our problems if we're going to be playing as wizards. It solves a lot of our problems. And then so long as the enemy didn't have vision here, we may be able to sneak not sneak past these wolves but getting a shrine of the third circle that could be massive too that could be great let's see what sarakin does 2000 gold purchases we better get the well i think we better get the well you're gonna want it at some point so let's get that now yellow is saying hey this thing used to work and i'm saying yeah it used to um terrifying so scary here comes sarakin Oh boy, here comes Sarakin. I need this third level spell, but it's going to cost me at least one of my third level spells. Or excuse me, one of my lightning bolts to do so. And if you level up and you get plus one knowledge, you're only going to have 20 out of 30 spell points. Granted, then I only have to wait overnight to get one spell point and then I can get one more lightning bolt out of my fight with three lightning bolts i think i can win this fight uh, except those steel golems take 50 percent reduced damage from elemental spells we have to go up this way let's we've got to get this third level spell we have to at least threaten to, to maybe take a town over here i'm supposing that there's a town or a castle over here so we have to fight this fight i don't like it but i have to pull pressure this way so that there's no pressure here on halon that's just the best I can do. So let's fight this fight. And I don't love this fight, by the way. I think that you know that. I think that you know that I don't like this fight. Let's do closed formation, actually. Yeah, let's do group formation. Yeah, this is going to be the best we can do. It's not it's not great. Uh, they're just so slow. That's not going to work, is it? No, we're going to have to bury the halflings in the upper left corner and then use the boars that way. So then, yeah, we do want to have the golems maybe right here and then boars up that way. That's probably going to be the best thing for us. I don't love this, but this is the best I can do. Okay, and again, we are off. Yeah, we are on spread formation. Okay. It's going to be costly, but we're not going to lose a single halfling. That's good. Let's see what else happens here. Terrain is negligible. I'm going to want these boars here and these boars here. Because this stack of five is going to go across the battlefield. They're going to get to right here. If they get good morale, that's bad. Obviously, they don't. I'm not going to attack. I just need this one single stack to take a hit where possible. And I'm actually going to probably use these golems to go one, two and attack this stack of wolves here. I think that that's going to be useful for me. I am so torn. Do I use one lightning bolt here? I think I have to. I'm going to save a lot of damage if I do one lightning bolt. It's going to kill one whole stack. Halflings can maybe kill a whole stack. Lightning bolt can for sure kill a whole stack. Let's do that. Okay, so that actually went pretty well. Let's deal damage before we get damage dealt to us. And then... Yeah, this is great, actually. I think I'd rather lose all the golems than lose any of these other boars. So from here, we're just going to shoot from our safe vantage point. 
Oh, we're even going to back off and try and save one golem left. We will try anyway. The wolves are not attacking this one boar. They think they can do better against the golems. Uh, they'd rather do the damage there than against one boar. Probably here they're going to attack one boar. No, they don't. Interesting. Five hit points left. And we win this now. So we even save one golem. Is that good or is that bad? I don't really know. But we have to take this shrine of the third circle. Cold ring. Okay. So we've got two damaging spells. We didn't level up though, did we? Wow, we didn't even level up. And this road looks like it doesn't lead to a town. Oh no. Oh no. Just dwarves and gold. Uh, we can defeat dwarves. This artifact is not very good, but there's a treasure chest. Treasure chest is experience. Experience is levels. Levels feels good. I hope this Erkin comes this way, not, not that way. One boar we can do even better. Huh. This this is a weird scenario. Um, It looks like there's lots of resources, but there's not. There's resources that you don't really need. Lots of wood, lots of ore. And you just don't need that as wizards. I think that... Oh, I was, I was doing some of the stats recently for the costs associated with each faction. And wizards use the most out of pretty much any faction in any kind of resources, but very low on the wood and the ore, surprisingly. And I don't know. It just feels weird to have plenty of wood, have plenty of ore, but not have what you actually need to survive, to thrive at least. Oh, I don't think two dwarves is going to kill one boar. S yeah, plenty of hit points left. 22 hit points here. It's not going to be a problem. Just trying to save creatures. Skip one more time. And then the halflings are going to kill this big stack. No problem. Maybe I should actually get rid of the golem. Like, maybe I should just dismiss one golem. How much help is that going to be? That's plus one spell power. Mysticism. We're going to take mysticism. That's going to be useful. That is going to be useful. I was I was really hoping, though, for... Oh, oops. I'm on the wrong hero. I was really hoping for knowledge. Okay, we'll take spell power. Our spells are going to hit harder, and that's good. So we will have two lightning bolts. Overall, call it a call it a wash 2500 gold i think that we're going to spend the gold to get another hero um i wish these heroes had excellent stuff with them i'm going to take agar this i wish he had some gargoyles but he doesn't but the scouting will be useful and at least he has a spell book and so even though that means that we're broke there i can start to pick up ore mine sawmill gold things like that and so I can actually get some some pressure in some other ways. Again, Halon, please don't die. Please stay right there. You are my doorstop. Okay. So we must fight this fight. It's coming up. 15 spell points. Again, that's two lightning bolts. Let's pick up the treasure chest now. Uh, that's plus one knowledge. We're going to take... I think that we take the logistics here. Because I haven't seen any reason to think that I'm going to get a very high-tiered mage guild anytime soon. This artifact is actually not going to help at all. This is the summoning book. It doubles the effectiveness of your summoning spells. Which, hey, by the way, I don't have any. So there's no point in me taking that. Is this the appropriate split? That's the question I have now. A few rocks. They're a four-speed creature. I think that once again, I can crowd my halfling so that the enemies cannot get to me and then i'm just going to have to lightning bolt probably their halflings first and then their boars and then i'll just have to deal with the steel golems piece by piece and then go from there so this is a big fight if we can beat sarakin i think that we've secured this whole area and then i think that we're actually okay
because if these guys have to go by boat to get me, that's fine. If there's other heroes right here in the darkness, then just this map is unwinnable and I hate life. But uh, OK, not really. We would actually keep working at it until we figured it out. Again, if we lose this fight, that's what we're going to end up doing. Let's give it a shot. Let's do the very best we can. OK, Flint abandons our cause. Let's see. Does Serakin have spells? I don't know. But he's got one attack, two defense, two spell power, two knowledge. If if he doesn't have some spell scrolls, then he will only have stone skin. As it stands, I've got I've got two lightning bolts, and they're going to do a lot of damage. I don't want to cast a cold ring. The reduced damage is not going to help. Yeah, I could say, oh well, I'll get you know halflings and rocks in one go. Not going to be worth it. Just take your lightning bolt, and I think that you actually take three rocks down rather than the 22 halflings. I do. Yeah, I think you must. So we're going to work on these rocks. We're going to crowd our halflings once again and hope that there's no big crazy spell that comes out right now. Stone skin is fine. That's what we were expecting. That's what we were planning on. That is something I can handle. We can deal with that. Okay, and then our halflings are going to get to go first. Miraculous. Terrific. I think that we must defeat their halflings because their halflings are immediately going to defeat my halflings. And I've got to keep my stack of halflings alive so they can deal with these golems and these boars, I suppose. Okay, so they've broken through. We've got one more lightning bolt, though. As we mentioned, lightning bolt is going to go down on the next set of creatures. If you are stone skinned, I want you to die very quickly. Yes, very quickly. And this one boar is going to slide right on into here. And then these boar, these steel golems are actually fairly tough. Uh, four to five damage, two to three damage. Yeah, we need to start dealing with these steel golems. But they're stone skinned. 15 defense to my two attack. Uh... Did you know that you max out at the most damage reduced in Heroes of Might and Magic 2 at 14? If you have 14 defense over some attacking creatures attack skill you've reduced their defense down to the minimum amount which is 30 percent my halflings are going to do only 35 percent damage because we are at 13 points of defense over my attack not good i must i must attack here but i'm in i'm in real trouble one two three there's no point in letting them hit me for free. The stone skin did already fall away though once. So that's potentially good. Um, I'm going to have this one boar sneak around just to go get this one halfling. Oh my gosh, you are kidding me. <gasps> I cheesed the AI. I cheesed the AI. Look at this. This terrain is right here. I didn't even mean to do this. I did not mean to do this. And because this boar is right here, there is a path to get to the halflings, but you have to go all the way around to get there. And so the steel golems, rather than going right through me, which would have won them this match very, very quickly, are now going to go all the way around. That is amazing. I've got to keep this one boar alive. I don't think I can do, I can't do 13 to 14 damage anyway. Oh my gosh, that's crazy. Um, and so I got to move here skip because then I can still use the train like this one two three I gotta go to like right here oh never mind I didn't count my steps appropriately but that's all I needed I just needed a little bit of extra space wow. to finish off this fight um wow wow I really did need that board to stay alive though by the way because now I don't know how I'm going to finish this fight without Sarakin running I guess I'm going to go here. And I think I'm actually going to just run. Great morale. They've got better morale than I do. But I'm going to run just so that way I can kill this halfling. And then I can potentially pile on enough damage at the very end. To just end, end these golems in one go. That's really my best bet. Uh, let's go here. It, it looks stupid, but I'm, this is the only way I can see myself finishing this fight. 
without them running. And I, I really need this enemy, if they have artifacts, to just die. Really, I, I need them to just die. I could continue to run, but the problem is, is that with great morale, they're going to get good morale at some point. I need to fight while I can. I truly do. And then the, ha the boards are going to get in here. And then the steel golems, I think they're probably going to run here. They do not. Because they get right onto the halflings, though, they're going to do plenty. Oh. Let's just keep going. Now is probably when they run. Huh. Now is when I would run. Darn. Okay, so we did the very best we could, but we actually won that fight. Granted, it took two lightning bolts that did 125 points of damage each. But as far as I'm aware, we have no immediate threats. And we can just thrive in peace. This feels okay. Okay, I am going to get rid of this one golem. Uh, one golem is not really going to help me, and that little bit of speed might matter. Let's pick up all this other stuff. And and I'm really actually very interested to see if this mercury is going to be useful for me or not. Halon must stay there. He has slept. I hit the letter Z. That means that he has this little star in his portrait, and that little star indicates that he is asleep not to be awakened under any circumstances. That is where he is. He's got the most boring job in the world, and I don't care. You come across a conjurer who begs to accompany you and your army a while for safety. You agree, and he offers as payment a copy of the Book of the Elements. This doubles the effectiveness of our hero's summoning spells, as previously mentioned. Um, we need to get this jail pretty quickly. I think that this observation tower is going to be the most important thing right now, though. It's going to let me see if there's any other enemies in the nearby. Okay, so Mercury, good, good. Artifact, Steel Skin once again. But now we can get our Sawmill. And stay six, stay six. Cliff Nest. Absolutely, we get the Cliff Nest. We've got the income from the statue. We've got our well. There's no way we're going to get this Ivory Tower. It's just too much gold, and we don't have this patch of resources just yet. Uh-oh. Once again, Castle of Farlene is located to the northeast on this island. Let's get the observation tower now. Sheltenberg is right here. Sarek and the wizards right here. There's a blue tent here. That's kind of interesting. Blue tent. That's going to provide easy access here. It looks like maybe sarakin has gotten that. Maybe he has not. I don't know. But this is yellow, so he's he knows where I'm at. He has seen me. I think for sure we pick up we cannot reach the water wheel. I think that we're going to get this alchemist lab, the fort, and we'll work our way south, at which point Agar will resupply us. We will take this town, and then we will have the continent really to ourselves. We can then potentially get this blue tent here, go through the blue barrier, get the rangers, get the aqua tent, and we need not even deal with the pack of pikemen until later. That's our plan, and then we go and get these gems as quickly as possible. Um, this is going to be a very, very busy next couple of days, but I think that we can manage something wonderful here. I think. Day 7, there's no other purchases to make. I'd love to have more halflings. I'd like to have rocks even more. So, let's get the alchemist let's see alchemist tower first agar is going to be able to get to probably right about mm, right about here i'm guessing that's gonna be too far for us to go but if we do if we do that we can get the water wheel first and then that'll be an extra thousand gold that we'll be able to use to purchase troops. And then we can pick up the fort and then we can pick up the alchemist lab, etc., etc. Okay, so that's the end of week one. Wow. Crazy. Oh, and you know what? There was all this gold here. I should have used Halon to go through the stone lists, pick up gold, and then get back to the stone lists in time. I didn't. And I'm not really upset about that just because, hey, we were being safe. Looks like there is gold right here. I would rather be safe than dead. How about that? Um, but 
we're grateful for what we have. We're definitely going to take all the rocks and then the halflings and then five boars. That's a good army. We're going to get to right over here. And then to here, I guess Agar is going to be able to get to like right here next time. So we might as well go just to right here and make Agar come to us since he's our secondary hero. Oh, Serikin's looking to challenge us, so it looks like we made the right decision in all of that thus far. But now he has absolutely wandered into a buzzsaw. I think that we are much better than him. I think that we are. And in fact, should we give... I don't think it's worth the morale. Right now we have good morale. If we put the centaurs up there, we're going to have um, neutral morale. I don't think that's worth it. We're going to split the rocks and keep the boars into one stack. Splitting the halflings. You could definitely argue that the steel skin or the stone skin would be good to keep these creatures in one stack. I think that the offensive spell is going to be the thing that really wins me this fight. I will pick up the fort first. Plus one defense. Why not? Glorious victory. It's going to be even better with some spells. And I might actually just use my one lightning bolt here on these halflings. 50 points of damage. One rock and then some of the halflings. I don't think that that's worth it. No, I think you'd rather kill one whole stack just dead. The halflings are going to do the most damage out of any of these troops. I mean, boars are second, but the halflings are going to do damage now. Let's kill the halflings with this lightning bolt. The boars, I'm sorry, they are going to get some damage off on us. And I'm actually going to skip with my boars because anywhere I go, I'm going to end up putting myself in range of their boars. Let's see what spells we see from Serikin. Magic arrow, only six halflings down at a time. That's okay. And then their magi are going to have to deal with my rocks from here on out. Okay. And then... Here. And then... One magi. 14 hit points left. One more... A uh, bit of damage with the rocks should be fine. Okay, and then their boars are fairly tough. Still, still definitely something to deal with. Our max damage is 26. There's only 24 hit points worth of rocks here. We could possibly kill the rock. We would have to get a perfect attack, basically. I don't think we should plan on getting a perfect attack. So we're going to just attack this direction with the magi down i think that we will kill hopefully one rock probably not though oh we got it that was actually a really close margin for error there and then from here yeah i think that we just uh finish all this up i'm even gonna hit the auto now i'm just gonna hit q to end the battle in auto mode from here i don't think there's anything else i can do to make this fight go better this seems like the best i could have possibly done and so far, this mysticism is actually doing great for us. I don't think we're going to need expert wisdom just yet. Let's get the mysticism. It will help us right now. And then in two turns, we should be able to take this town. Looks like we will be able to with no further problems. Oof. Okay. No creatures to buy here. There's a magic arrow. There's a slow, a dispel. It's actually nice to have a magic arrow, even if you have some other bigger scarier spells sometimes just the spell points and you know why spend spell seven spell points when three will do that kind of mentality ah <sighs> okay we've got the foundry we're going to need a mage guild so we can get the ivory tower at some point let's get the mage guild now i don't think that there's any problem with that i am not planning on building this into a castle can i this town may not be upgraded into a castle. I'm not planning on upgrading that into a castle for sure now, but I wasn't going to anyway. Trying to build up two towns at once just seems like a bad idea. So uh, that's the end of that turn. We're going to stay overnight to pick up more spell points, and then we could probably beat this pack of mummies. Probably. Oh, goodness gracious. <laughs> you again. He's coming right for me, isn't he? 
The only reason why this is possibly a win is because of lightning bolts. Wow. Hmm. And there's no troops here. Hmm. And now maybe he has more than just a, a magic arrow. It'll be a lightning bolt on the Arc Magi. If I attack him, I get the initiative. This this is important. There's a part of me that wants to get the gazebo, right? With my 1,200 movement points, get the gazebo and then attack him here. That's one, two, three, four, five, six, seven. Call it 10. Potentially 1,000 movement points. If, if he attacks me, he's going to get to go first, and then my lightning bolt is not going to be nearly as impactful, because he's going to get to cast the first spell. Then again, the Magi are a speed 5, not a speed 6, so they're not going to get to go before my boars go with their lightning bolt, unless he blinds. I would love to get a 1,000 extra experience points, because that will give me an extra level. It will get me an extra level. I'm going to risk it. This is a risk. This is totally a risk, but the, the risk is mitigated because of my boars. I'm going to go to the gazebo. I'm going to pick up plus one knowledge. It's not quite what I wanted, but it's not too bad. I'm seeing a lot of these fights where they're having some spells, but so far... I mean, he must have come from a, a castle up here. It must be that I take scouting here because Eagle Eye is just that bad. So I'm going to take the scouting. And I do still get the initiative. We're going to have to fight this fight. Let me just see. Do I... How do I split this fight up? It's it's going to be all damage from me. No defensive spells. And so having one big stack of creatures isn't going to matter. You would sometimes have one stack of creatures if you were going to steel skin that entire stack. We're not going to cast any steel skins. This is going to be... Uh... Three, four lightning bolts. And we're going to attack right now. Says we lose. If he's got some crazy spells, understandable, have a nice day. Otherwise, I've got some kind of crazy spells. Still no cold ray. We're just going to lightning bolt. We're going to kill all five of your magi. All five of your magi. And we're going to hope. My three rocks are going to get to go before his seven his seven rocks. And so we're going to go into a defensive position here. Stone skin, just fine for me. No problems. No problems. And then we're going to just go into, again, a completely defensive position. We lose one rock. We lose nearly two rocks. Um, we're going to lose this rock at some point. We might as well attack. We can kill. We can kill maybe one boar. We almost killed one boar. <laughs> oh, that's pretty bad. That you couldn't even do that. And then, let's see, with 150 spell points, this is... We're going to kill three rocks at a time. It's still going to be useful for us to attack the rocks with our halflings. Not this one, though. Okay, so it's a new round of combat. That means we immediately drop a lightning bolt on their head. Okay. Okay. We're going to try and save this stack of halflings. And already this fight is looking a lot better for us than it was previously. Maybe we kill one more rock. We do not. And maybe this rock will finish this guy off. Does not. Close, though. Close, though. This halfling will do that job. Um, At this point, I mean, we're getting into the point where we might just use a magic arrow. Granted, he's got more magic arrows than I do. Hmm. At this point, with a 150 hit point lightning bolt, I can cast lightning bolt on the steel golems and I'll still kill all these golems, even with their 50% damage reduction from elemental spells. Let's back off. And try and kill rocks and boars and then steel golems. Let the steel golems kind of go last. Four. Let's see. Let's try and kill one to two here. Their rocks have already gone. 
and my halflings still are yet to go. So we're going to lightning bolt now. They go down. And then let's try and kill one here. And then the halflings will kill this one boar. And then we should clean up this fight with one final lightning bolt. Yep, that's how this fight goes. And it's actually not even going to be a... Yep, it's not even going to be a lightning bolt. It's just going to be a magic arrow, which is going to do 60 points of damage. And then finally, Sarek and the wizard does not get to run. If I had taken you out before, I might have saved myself a lot of heartache. But as it stands, you're not getting away this time. Give me some kind of artifacts. Give me a sign. Hit me, baby, one more time. Okay. I think that there is a, no other choice but to go up this road as quickly as possible. There must be a castle maybe up here. And and if Sarakin just came that way, then that means that they spent gold to get him out here. He probably took all of their final troops. And now we're in, a, we're in as good of a spot as we can. Hopefully that town or that castle, whatever it is, is undefended. And it's ours. That's my hope. No guarantees. But well, let's do the very, very best we can. And Yellow is seething. They're so upset. They're saying, we really want to get through this uh, little lith here. But for some reason, we can't. I wonder why. Crazy. Uh, we're going to take the gold here. I'm going to take the leadership. This is this is the third time I have not taken expert wisdom. And I may end up not taking expert wisdom for a fourth time. 3,500 gold. I mean... Still can't do anything just yet. Unfortunately, even though we're going to take this castle, we're not going to be able to do much else. Let's just see. I, it's weird that the enemy never picked this artifact up. You found an oddly shaped ring on the finger of a long dead traveler. The ring looks like a snake biting its own tail. Whereas the AI will understand what resources it does and doesn't need and prioritize those effectively. I don't think it can do that with artifacts. Can it? Could it? Would it? Will it? Will it only pick up a snake ring if it has a bless spell in its spell book? I don't know. Hard to say. Okay, but we should be able to defeat... They're just... They, they just won't go away. I don't regret this decision, but they just won't go away. You are kidding me. Look at this. Look at this. Wow. Okay. So we are going to cast a lightning bolt for sure. And we're probably going to run because we can't get through 10 steel golems. It can't be done. Do we run right now? Do we surrender right now? I think that we surrender right now. We don't let them get a spell off. We don't let the turrets do any damage. We just kill some of your boars and we just go. Because I do want to keep all these troops. I want to keep the rocks for sure. I might as well keep the halflings. I think that we just run. Yep. We give them gold and then we run. Crazy. Oh my goodness. I did not anticipate that whatsoever. We have enough gold. We hire Flint back right now. Goodness gracious. And then um, his movement points are mostly halved. This is going to give us the opportunity to go through these veteran pikemen, but ouch. That was unanticipated. It looks like the enemy still has a couple of tricks up its sleeve. It's going to be... Wow, it's going to be a little while before we can get through there. Huh. But we've got this Aqua Tent here. Flint is a level 6 wizard. Great. I wonder what Joseph is. And I'm going to find out. And I'm not going to be stopped. Troops here, troops here. Just the golems. With some spells, we can defeat these pikemen. I think we're going to wait one more turn, and then we'll head out. Darn. Okay. So let's wait. Yep, yellow is on the move. But at least Agar has been being very effective with my turn for me. This whole time. You know what? I'm thinking about it. I, I could have, if I had been more aware, I probably could have transferred troops from Flint to Agar if he was still over here. Maybe cleared out the wolves, maybe gotten these resources. It would have been a it would have been a far cry. Probably not possible, but 
things that you think about that maybe that could have mattered. We do have full spell points now. That's going to be enough. In fact, I think that you keep the halflings at home and just have a whole bunch of boars and golems. Yeah, I think that's what you do. I think you just do this. Because you're we're just gonna end up lightning bolting these pikemen again and again and again, right? We'd better well hold on. How many is that? Four, five lightning bolts is 35 out of our 40. That's gonna be one lightning bolt on each stack of these veteran pikemen. You're probably gonna want a couple of other troops. Probably. Okay, let's do it like this then. It's probably going to say that we're going to lose, but we're going to be smart and we're going to win anyway. Yep, says that we lose. Uh, it's four stacks instead of five. And do I like that better or worse? I think I like that better, actually. Oh yeah, I like that better. When the whole plan was just to lightning bolt them to death anyway, this works out just fine. And here, one, two, three, four, five. Uh, one, two, three, four, five. 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 Gotta go here. Okay. And then I guess we might as well attack one of these stacks. Probably this one. 14 damage. Oops. Little bit more damage lightning bolt here and skip and then with 13 hit points left we'll back the rocks off and then the boards will step up okay so this fight went better than it was expected to go by the ai anyway And now we have access to the Aqua Tent. We might as well get the Gazebo, the Aqua Tent. Should we just have another hero head that way? Let's have Agar head that way. It'll be Agar's job to do that. He'll go north to that direction because he can get the Sulfur, he can get the Aqua Tent, he can get all that without any problems. There's ore right there too. Okay. And then it'll be a third week Ivory Tower, which isn't great, but it's... It is what it is. We do see yellow. No, green. Oh, goodness. Are these guys allied? He walked up to him like he hates his guts. But then again, it's possible that he just wants his boat. I don't know what to expect there. That's very interesting. Uh, we definitely want to buy everything. And we will. We shall. With 3,700 gold, we do not buy everything. Oh, no. We ended up buying golems instead of other troops and the golems would have been my last choice with the rocks though we're going to be okay it'll be it'll be okay but it's not ideal certainly and i'm going to use agar to help ferry these extra 14 halflings this way we're going to go this kind of longer way just to make that happen And I must say, and this is very important, if I can get two wizard castles, I think, well, I don't need to worry about necromancer castles so much, but I may not even have to really worry about this one warlock castle. If the AI is trying to evenly build up three castles, they're going to be in some major trouble. Um, and if they are currently building up the wizard castle of Farleen, that will suit me well. And I can eventually overwhelm them because it looks like this island has everything that I need. It does. So I don't love that things are going slower than I would like. But I recognize that I'm still potentially with the information I have on pace to still win this scenario. I am. And that is okay for me. I do need to get these resources so that way I can get my... Ivory Tower sooner rather than later. We're a little bit short on spell points, but not by a ton. Just a little bit short. 
Yeah, one more, two more lightning bolts. I'm going to... Lightning bolt this top stack, and I'll focus on this bottom stack. Kill three wolves, not too bad. I'm going to continue to pile on the damage there. Oh no! Oh, this this two wolves will go first before this big stack of ten. I was scared for a second. Um, I can take the damage from two wolves, I just can't take the damage from ten. Well, I, I say I can't, I don't want to, how about that? There's lots of things I don't want to do, that's just one of them. Okay. And then let's finish this off. So one and one, that's much better. And again, because that's for my ivory tower, that's a very necessary deal. I am well aware that I've got troops here that I could purchase in this town. I'm just saying to myself, why though? I don't see any reason I ought to. Where did that other hero go? Sabu defeated him, didn't he? They're just not allied. Huh. Yeah, they must not, they're not allied. And that's kind of a big deal. That helps me out a lot, just kind of keeping track of what's out there and, and what I need to worry about. Taking the estates, we're low on gold anyway. And then we've got to pick up all this. I don't really care about the wood, but it's in my way. And then I'm going to get this aqua barrier. We're going to get this great wizard. And then we will continue on our way. We're a little bit of gold away from this ivory tower. I don't really care if Sabu the Barbarian gets that third level mage guild or that third level shrine. I just don't think it's going to help him. But I'm aware it might matter. Oh, the magical barrier does not dissolve because... Traveler's Tent. There we just picked up the Aqua Traveler's Tent, and that should change our fortunes drastically. Okay. I think that now we've got our Ivory Tower. Very good. And wait, Marini the Wizard, was that a... I think we have seen her before, but that might have been a previous playthrough. That might have been one of the ones that we lost once already. How many times did we lose before we... Kind of got to this great start. Hard to say. You bribe the entrance guards of this dingy prison camp. They agreed to look the other way for a little while. Very nice of them. Very, very nice of them. It is the portrait for Joseph the Wizard. He's got traveler's boots. He's got the enchanted hourglass. He's got some great troops. Oh my goodness. This is excellent. Okay. Joseph the Wizard. Joseph the Wizard. I mean, is he better or worse than Flint at this point? I think that Flint is is just a better hero all around, actually. I like Joseph the Wizard. He's going to be a good secondary hero, but he's got no additional spells. And basic luck, big, basic leadership, and the fifth level spells. Great. Good. Fantastic. I've already got the leadership. I'll get the luck later, if I can. And then I've got these other supporting secondary skills I still like. So uh, I'm going to do my best to level both of these gentlemen up. But for now, I'm not too worried. This is a mass slow spell. Oh my goodness. That is terrific. That is wonderful. We're going to move all of this over. First off, all the artifacts. And then we're going to take all your troops. They're mine. You can keep the nice slow iron golems. I'm going to take the magi. We're going to end up leaving the boars for the one titan. Yeah, for one titan. Absolutely, we leave the, the boars. Um, the six speed on the Titans helps us cast that first spell. And so it's not going to be a problem to lose the six speed boars at this point. And so Flint is on his way this way. Oh, then again, I think that I can actually use Joseph to clear out these ogre lords. No spells, but just based off of the strength of his... Well, off the strength of the mass slow and all these troops, I think I can I can fight that fight in a good way. And then I can return the troops before anybody even notices that they are missing. So Lint will continue. And Joseph will get our gems. The Ogre Lords want to run. Do I wish to pursue them? 
Yeah, I think so. We just have to not lose one rock and we'll be just fine. Yep, shouldn't be a problem. We're not even going to need the mass slow. For some reason, I thought there was going to be a lot more ogres than this. This is not too bad at all. And we're not going to lose one rock at this point. Okay. And then we're even going to return the troops and then come back to the gem mine shortly after. I, you know what? Oh, boy. Flint may never come back to this arena. We should probably have him grab this, too. Feels bad to be so slow. It's going to take us a long time to get up to that other wizard castle, but we're going to get there eventually. Let's be purposeful with what we have now. Let's let Flint be the one to fight this fight. Everybody's going back. Here. So I got I gotta ask, what other strategy other than what we've done here, what else could have made this scenario work? I can't think of anything that could have made this scenario work out better than it has so far. I think that we got incredibly lucky, first of all, like Let's call it what it is. I think we got incredibly lucky that we were able to get a hero onto that stone lith. And so we were able to prevent major, major issues, right? That's that's like point number one. Okay. Number two, we were able to defeat Sarakin a couple of times. Uh, you know what? I see a lot of water here. Let's take the navigation. You usually don't see me take navigation. I will this time. Uh, a traveling merchant offers you a rabbit's foot made of gleaming silver fur for safe passage. The merchant explains that the charm will increase your luck in combat. That's plus one. And we're going to take the spell power. Our spells are really carrying us right now. That's what's going to continue to carry us. And then, like, lest we forget, lest we forget, we needed to get a lightning bolt here. The likelihood of getting a lightning bolt here, I mean, how many secondary spells are there? Second level spells are there? There's more than 12. So let's just call it a 1 in 12 chance. Let's just say you had a 1 in 6 chance of getting either Cold Ray or Lightning Bolt. I know that that's not that. I know that it's, it's worse than that. But let's just say that's what it is. Um, hey, you cannot rely on that. You can absolutely restart the map to get that, that start that you need. And maybe you ought to. If you don't start off with Fire Blast, which we didn't, if you start off with the Mage's Ring, maybe that was the absolute best possible start to that strategy we could have gotten. I don't see us beating this fight, any of these fights, without that lightning bolt. You have to have a damaging spell in this shrine of the second circle. You have to. I don't think you're able to get Joseph any sooner than this. Not really. Maybe like a little bit, but not really. Um, it's just... And, and really, I can't think of any other strategy that might have carried this fight for me. And, and I'm very sad at that. Because then this makes me feel like, oh gosh, I got the exact right circumstances to give me a possible win. I don't really love that. But I'll take it. I will definitely take it. Um, with all this mercury and more to come, I think that we're going to get the... Oh gosh, we only have 3,000 gold. We're going to wait right now. And we're going to head out on our next day here. We're going to get as far as we can down this road. And then next turn, we're going to get as far as we can over this way. We're probably only going to be able to get to like right here. Halon might come off to pick up troops, drop troops, and then go back. And then Flint is just so fast. He's the fastest man alive. We're going to eventually have him pick up additional troops. But right now, we're going to defeat this enemy hero who's defeated us once. Before too much else happens. Any final purchases to make? Let's finally pick up the Orchard. I do like Halflings. An additional eight a week does matter. Even if we have other things we'd like to spend our gold on. Hey, we're just not going to buy Golems this time. What do you think about that? 
Okay. Magi. Rocks. We're gonna go down as far as we can here. We're gonna go to here. And again, Halon is going to wake up just for one second. He is going to be amazed that he's actually being useful. That's too far. He can't go that far. He has to get back. Can I still get back? Oh, how many how many movement points do you have? You have 700. You can get back. Don't be scared. Just do it. Just do it. Um. But I, I really, really, I don't think I can see any other strategies that would have helped. I honestly, truly, 100% believe that you've got to get that lightning bolt here. Otherwise, this scenario without that fire blast as your reward for this scenario... I don't think it's going to happen. Just don't think it's going to happen. So we don't know what this Shrine of the Third Circle is. I doubt Sabu has the wisdom to have actually learned that spell. This Troll Bridge, he might have picked up some trolls. I haven't really seen it, uh, but we're going to continue on. We're going to fight this fight. Even, even if it says we lose, we have plenty of spells. But with one Titan, I don't think that we have anything to worry about. Flint is defeated. Or no, Flint is me. Sabu is defeated. We pick up a golden bow. So that 50% penalty that you deal with with castle walls, that is no longer something to worry ourselves over. We are finally going to take wisdom over ballistics. Uh, ballistics with wizards isn't that big of a deal. In large part because you have your titans, you have your rocks, you have troops that are not going to really be encumbered by the wall anyway. So there is... There's a mage guild here. We're going to want all the spells we can get anyway. We're going to head over this way in one turn, but for now we're going to wait. I would rather have all of our spells, even though it's going to take us two turns to get over here. We are going to defeat Dimitri though, and the fact that we're not going to have to beat him in a castle is actually really nice. And we are going to beat him, by the way. As a first level hero, unless they hired somebody else who some other hero had, he's going to be a first level hero. This shouldn't be too much of a fight at all. Somehow we're going to lose 10 Magi. I think not. Even if he's got really good high attack skill and defense skill, 2-2, two, 1-1. Two, one one. Yeah, how did we lose 12? That's a little bit surprising. 225 points of damage on this lightning bolt. You think that's going to matter? I think that's going to matter. I will take the damage from... The rocks in order to kill... Probably two magi. We only killed one. And then I think... Let's just kill one whole stack of halflings. The damage from the halflings is still going to be meaningful, even though the rocks are really going to put a hurt on us. I know that they are. I'm expecting it. It's okay. We're going to take our lumps. And actually, very interesting that they chose to deal with the halflings. I think that that's a good decision on their part. They haven't gone this round of combat, and so they've mitigated the damage from 80 halflings. Um, but the Magi are still going to dish out a ton of damage here. Uh, they just killed seven boars just on a with a backhand. They just slapped them silly, which they tend to do actually with no melee penalty. And then we're going to continue to just destroy these boars. Not a problem. And then we will free up the halflings here. Oh, we did not even... I thought we would uh, free them up. I guess not. We got them now, and then let's pour on damage to... Let's just take out this one whole stack of boars. Yeah. Our lightning bolt is again going to do half damage here. I don't think we're going to be able to kill these golems. So we're going to back off. One more magic arrow, and now I think that we can kill them in one go. With two more lightning bolts. There's one. Here. And here. And here. Maybe that last lightning bolt was overkill. Meh. It's dead now. I don't want to stay on my main hero. I'm going to take the navigation. And then next turn, we should finally take this castle. It's been something of a wild ride, but the show is coming to a close, and I'm all for it. But the funny thing is, is that this is just stage one. 
Stage one is secure your own continent. And after that, what do you got to do? You've got to figure out what to do with all these guys. They've been stuck here, but they're just getting bigger and scarier. Massive, even. You better get some Titans pretty quick, bud. <laughs> Otherwise, you're going to have one major problem on your hands. Let's figure out what this third level spell is. View heroes. Let's cast that immediately. So, uh, there are... Maybe it's islands here, islands here. We did see that green did sail this way, though. Wait a second. Somebody... Oh, never mind. I thought that someone summoned their boat away from us. Nope. Oops. I overreacted. One, two yellow heroes, two red heroes, three green heroes. That's what we're dealing with here at this point. Um, that's all doable. And the fact is that I can't tell if anybody's in the water right now or not. I'm going to have to be kind of careful just to make sure that I don't run into any problems there. And now we are just trying to get as many gems as we possibly can so we can get a cloud castle. Note that we do have one, two, and three marketplaces now. Um, that's going to be a pretty okay conversion rate. We can probably get this crystal mine, these other uh, mines and sawmills, and we can trade for the resources that are necessary. Um, yeah. Yeah. Tell you what, folks, uh, this has been a struggle. This has been tough. This has been a lot has gone on in this uh, pretty tough scenario so far. And I think that this is actually going to be a pretty good and pretty reasonable time to stop. I don't love doing two parters usually, uh, but this just kind of feels like it's in the right vein of thought this this feels like this is where we need to stop so uh, we're going to make the second scenario here of wizard's isle the eternal scrolls this is going to be a two-parter this is going to be part one and uh with this continent secured we should be able to come back at the enemy very very quickly so let me just go to my handy dandy deal here i'm just going to find my one save file And then we're going to come back here next time. Folks, thanks for all the support. Thank you so much for following me around on the trilogy that we just completed with the Wizard's Land. And hopefully we are enjoying this final campaign here in The Price of Loyalty. I will see you next time. Until then, take care of you. My name is Fix Fox, and I am out.